Okay. Episode 2. Just make a mirrors. Fucking hell. Okay, what's going on? What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? Uh, what the fuck? What is going on? I hope it was worth your time. How are you not dead? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or uh, at least to figure out who she is. If it's not uh, Faith's body. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you. Or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? Are, are you gonna be okay? I mean, uh, with all that's happened. I'll be fine. Uh, I just wanna get to the bottom of this. But this still doesn't explain why she's still alive. What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Uh, yeah, you need to be careful. Someone wants you dead. At some point, they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's um, our next move? Unless you're glamoured to look like her. I don't know. Oh, I'm suspicious. Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? I'm the sheriff, Snow. I go out and do the dirty work to keep you all safe. And what am I here for, then? I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose! Well, you got told, mate. I'm sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself? Myself. Right. Okay, well... This is weird. I don't know what's going on. I'm suspicious that... Snow White actually did die, but... Now it's... Someone else who's glamoured to look like her, I don't know. Or I could be wrong, I could just poop be what she said, but I don't know, I'm suspicious. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I... I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Okay, let's go talk to uh, Mr. Toad and TJ. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? 
I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No! I want an explanation. I'm just doing my job, Toad. Your job is to protect us. That's not what you've been doing. That's enough. Okay. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Watch yourself, Big B. If you do anything to hurt me, boy. I'm not gonna hurt a child. It's okay. Are you... okay? Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're a good kid, TJ. Just tell me what you saw. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. Oh dear. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. I thought I, I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> Oh dear. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. <laughs> Is there something else know. you want to tell us, <laughs> TJ? I don't know. Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. I told you! You're not in trouble. Like Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. So okay. you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? Were those the same words they used? Stop laughing? Try to remember exactly what they said. <laughs> they said... They said... Stop laughing... At me. <laughs> Did you hear anyone laughing? No! <laughs> uh... Do you know whose voice it was? No! Bigby, he's frightened. Uh... Okay, TJ. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! Yeah, that's fine. I want to go home. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Okay, son. 
Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. <laughs> Come on. That went about as well as I expected. <sighs> you want to go look at the body now? Oh, okay, if I must. Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Oh, I should have gone and looked at the mirror first, but oh well. Oh dear. <sighs> Witching world chamber. Okay. So I got that money in my pocket right there. Wearing exactly the same clothes as her as well. Shit. Wow. I didn't realize I've never seen her face before now. This is weird. Yeah. The glamour is so effective it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, okay. Sage. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Oh, nasty. Anything? Nothing. Uh. Can you close her mouth? Thanks. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Uh, okay. It looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay. Uh... Oh, what's this? There's some marks there. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms. Or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this uh, way. It's possible it's designed not to. Designed not to hide track marks? Good point. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market Fun. or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Look at that one first. Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles. So she would sink. Oh. What's in her hand? Her fist is clenched. So she fought back? No marks on the knuckles. Oh. Maybe she was grabbing something? Maybe. Oh, ow. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna pry it open. What are you doing? Only way to find out. 
Oh, this is going to be not nice. Jesus, Bigby. What is it? Some kind of flowers. That's weird. Flowers? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Uh, you know, I need to open her coat. Big B, just let me. Okay. Uh, it's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here now that you're done smashing bottles on people. What have you found out? I, I'm not finished. I haven't finished yet. Well, get on with it then. Oh, you shut can't up. Waste too much time here. The killer might be preparing another attack as we speak. We should keep going. Okay, so. Fair enough. What's that? Are you wearing silk lingerie snow? Why do you want to know? I'm just trying to see if the clothes are exact. They're not. Okay. <laughs> what is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Looks like someone picked it out for her. Who's this? So, okay. someone gave her instructions. Uh. Do you have a pocket? What's that? I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. Don't you think? You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh, I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Okay. Okay, so it's, oh, that's a puzzle thing. All right, let's see. Uh, no. Oh, oh, it's like a deer thing there. You make up the picture. There we go. A deer. And what does that mean? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. And I'm guessing that's a lock of her hair. Okay, I'm guess I'm guess I'm no longer suspicious of her anymore. Yeah. Scared. What's going on? Ew. No, I left the gun there. No. Oh no! I left the gun.